Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is 3sum. In this question, we are given an integer array called nums and we need to return the triplets nums of i, nums of j, nums of k such that i is not equal to j, i is not equal to k and j is not equal to k. And the elements pointing at i, j, k should equal to 0. So that will form a successful triplet. And we need to return all the triplets satisfying this condition. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So I've taken the same example they've given us. This is the nums array. So you can start off with a brute force approach where you take three pointers because you are accessing three elements to get the output. Outer loop i will start here and the inner loop j will start here. And inside the j loop, there is another loop k which will start here. And you add the three elements pointing at i, j and k and check if it is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, you add those three pointers into a list and then you move forward in this direction. K will point here, next K will point here, and next K will point here. And in the next iteration, J will move one step ahead and the same process will be repeated. And the time complexity of that approach will be O of n cube and which will lead to a TLE error, time limit exceeded error. So how can you solve this question in a better approach? So what if we sort the array in ascending order? So after sorting the input array will look like this. So this is how the sorted array will look. So we use a loop where i will start from the zeroth element and it will iterate till this element nums.length minus 2 because we declare two more pointers j will start here and k will start here and this j pointer will start from i plus 1 and the k pointer will move from right to left. So until j is less than k this while loop will run and once these two pointers cross you can end the iteration. So you start a for loop where i will start from 0 and until i is equal to nums.length minus 2. In this example, i will go till here. Now let's do a dry run. So I declared a output list of list. So this is going to be a hash set to avoid duplicate pairs. And before returning the output, we'll convert it into a list. Now we check if the elements pointing at i, j and k is equal to sum. So the sum is equal to minus 3, which is not equal to 0. Since minus 3 is less than 0, we need to use an element which will increase the sum so we need to increment the pointer j to access a greater element than the current element i will stay wherever it is for all the loop for one iteration and only j and k pointers will be moving as the array is sorted in ascending order j will be pointing at an element of lesser value and k will be pointing at an element having greater value so if you decrement k you will access an element which is less than the current element pointing to k so if you decrement k you will point to 1. So if you add 1 to the output, so if you add 1 to the output instead of 2, the overall value will, will decrease more and there is no possibility of matching it to the required output 0. So we increment j whenever the total sum is less than 0. So if sum is less than 0, increment the j pointer. If sum is greater than 0, decrement the k pointer. In this case, sum is less than 0, so increment the j pointer. So j is pointing here and the sum remains the same because j is pointing to the same element minus 1 and minus 1. So you again increment the j pointer. Now the sum is equal to minus 2 which is also less than 0. So you increment the j pointer. Now the sum is equal to minus 1 which is still less than 0. You increment the j pointer. And now j and k are pointing to the same element. So you start a new iteration where i will move one step to the right and j and k will be pointing at their respective positions which have been initialized as j will be pointing at i plus 1 and k will be pointing at the end of the array and now you start the same process sum the elements pointing at i j and k so the current sum is equal to 0 so you form a list of the current elements pointing at i j and k and add it into the output list so you make a list and this will be added to the output list and whenever you find sum is equal to 0 you move both the j and k pointers j will be pointing at the next element to the right and k will be decrementing by 1. So you can write another formula if so if sum is equal to 0, increment the j pointer and decrement the k pointer. And now you find the sum again and the sum is again 0. So you create a list with the current pair minus 1, 0 and 1. Add it into a set if it is not present because set does not allow duplicate values. So it is not present so add it into the output set. And now again since sum is equal to 0, increment the j pointer and decrement the k pointer. Since these two pointers crossed, we can end the current iteration and go for the next iteration. Next iteration, i will be moving one step to the right. j will be pointing at one step to the right of i. j is i plus 1 and k is at the end of the array. Now start the same process. 
sum of the elements at the current pointers. So sum is equal to 1, it is greater than 0. So if its sum is greater than 0, decrement the k pointer. So k will be pointing here. Now check for the sum again. And now the sum is equal to 0. So form the list and check if it is present inside the set. Same pair is present inside the set. So it won't be added. And since sum is equal to 0, increment j and decrement k. j is greater than k, it crossed. So you go for the next iteration. i will move one step to the right. j will be i plus 1. And k will be at the end of the array. Check for the sum. Sum is equal to 3. 3 is greater than 0, so decrement k. Since j and k are pointing at the same element, you end the current iteration and move for the next iteration. Next iteration, i is equal to 4. So i will run to until i is less than 4, but i is equal to 4, so you end the iteration. And whatever is present inside this set will be converted into an array list because the return type of this question is an array list. So this is the array list we made out of the set. And this will be returned as the output. Now let's code it up in a Java program. Coming to the function that given us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums given to us. We need to return a list of list of integers. So this is the return type. Now let's do a base check before starting the logic that if the length of the nums array is less than 3, then there is no way we can form a triplet and we return an empty list of list as the output. Now let's declare a hash set which will store the output but we need to return a list. So just before returning the output we'll convert this hash set output into a list. Now let's start off by sorting the input array nums. Now we have sorted the input array in ascending order. Now let's iterate through the nums array from 0 to nums.length-2. So this is going to be the first pointer and the next pointer will be starting from i plus 1. So j is equal to i plus 1 will be the second pointer and the last pointer k will be pointing at the end of the array. So i will be the first pointer, j will be one step ahead to i and k will be the last pointer. So we run a while loop where j is always less than k. Once j crosses k from left to right we can end the iteration. Now let's find out the sum for the elements pointing at i, j and k. And now let's declare an array list. So whenever this sum is satisfying for these three pointers, we add those three elements pointing at those pointers into the array list. So we are declaring this part of the output. And we add one list at a time to the overall output. So if sum is equal to 0, we found the three elements in a triplet, so we add them into the list. Now let's add these three numbers, nums of i, nums of j, nums of k into this list. And now we increment the j pointer and decrement the k pointer for the next iteration. Now one triplet has been added into the list, so let's add this list into the output array result. And in the else if block, if sum is greater than 0, it means that we have to decrement the k pointer to search for a better answer. And in the else block, it means that sum is less than 0. If sum is less than 0, we increment the j pointer to get a better answer. Because we need a greater element to make sum equal to 0. So we increment the pointer pointing at the lesser element and this for loop will access all the elements and find all the pairs and now we have all the triplets in this result so result is a set right but we need to return a list as output so let's convert this set result into a list so we declare a new array list and now pass the set as a list now let's run the code here you have it, our test cases are running successfully. Let's submit the code. Here you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n into n. Here we are sorting the array O of n log n and we are iterating through the array from n to n. Since O of n square is worse than O of n log n, 
So the overall time complexity will be O of n square. And the space complexity is O of n because we are using output arrays to store the output. But sometimes you can argue that the space complexity is constant because the output data structure is not counted towards the space complexity. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.